Okay, good morning, welcome to... Yeah, number 1047. Number 1047. So, um, yesterday I, I saw um, this paper by our friend Nassim Taleb. And this is a very advanced paper, so this is not something uh, really for kids. But there was one part of it that I thought was really interesting. And I actually thought you guys could understand. So um, I wanted to talk about it, or at least try to talk about it today. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So what he, he's studying a very interesting problem here. And so when you collect data for, for some, some experiment you're doing, um, you're going to have, let's say, 50 data points that you collect. And one of them is going to be the largest, one of them is going to be the smallest. And, um, you know, they'll have some average and you can, you can say some things about the, you know, whatever you've collected. But he's asking a question about what about the stuff you didn't see? Especially, what about the stuff that's larger than the largest one you saw? So let's take an example of, like, say, earthquakes. So you maybe spent a hundred years, you looked at a hundred years worth of earthquakes in California. But you could still ask the question, like, what's the probability or what are the chances of an earthquake coming in the future that's larger than the largest one I've seen so far. Yeah. So that's the question he's asking about. Okay. And so what, what that talks about is, you know how we sometimes make those histograms? Mm -hmm. And so this might be the largest one in our histogram and then there's, what about up here? What does this mm. look like? How many, how many do we expect to have up here? So it's a, it's a very challenging problem. And he finds a fascinating solution that I hope shows up on the screen. Um, among other properties, we note that the hidden moment of order zero, that is the exceedance probability for power law distributions. So this is a general class of distributions, so not just beyond, just not beyond normal distributions. Mm -hmm follows an exponential distribution and has uh, an expectation of 1 over n regardless of the, basically regardless of the distribution you're looking at. So if you have n data points, the probability of uh, getting, finding something larger than it is 1 over n, hmm. somewhat independent of the distribution you're okay. finding. Interesting. <clears throat> which is really, I, I found that very, very surprising. Because uh, I would have thought it depended on the shape of the thing that you were studying. Yeah. But he found that it didn't. And we're going to explore that a little bit. Okay. But first, before we jump in, do you understand the idea that he's looking at? Like if we collected 20 data points, maybe we found 20 earthquakes. Would you think that saying that you could never have an earthquake larger than the 20th one, the larger than the largest one, would that be a smart thing to assume? No, especially if you're like preparing buildings and stuff for earthquakes that could come in the future. Yeah, and there's other kinds of things that are like this, like wave heights or another good example, or floods. Here's the largest flood we've ever had, so we'll plan that um, there could never be one larger than that. Mm -hmm. That sounds smart. Yeah. Not really. No. So he's this is the this is the kind of problem he's studying. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you how I looked at this yesterday. 